What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Ghosts. I've got some more information that I want to share with you guys, so let's get straight into it. So, uh, the first thing I've got for you guys is that there's been a new multiplayer map revealed, and, and it's called Stonehaven. And as you can see by this picture, it's a medieval castle map. And the thing is, is it's literally a castle. We've had castle type maps before, we even had a map called Castle back in Call of Duty World at War. But we've never had like an actual medieval castle map to play on, and we finally do have that. It looks absolutely epic. Now, in the second screenshot we've got here, as you can see, it's got this old, like, medieval, old times windmill, and it looks like that thing's falling. So I'm thinking maybe that could be an interactive part of this map. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And then finally, we have a third screenshot of this map, and, and this one shows you the castle as well as some of its grounds. And the grounds outside the castle looks like they're pretty big. You know, it looks like that's a majority of the map. The castle might only be in one corner. And it looks like it's pretty flat. You know, there are random little stone walls walls and half walls and things like that around the place but for the most part it looks pretty flat so this should be a pretty interesting map to play on I feel like if you really know your routes and your little spots and, you know lines of sight and jump spots and things like that I feel like if you have a super high map IQ on this map I think you're gonna be head and shoulders above the enemy you know even more so than a normal map because again it just it looks like there's a bunch of random cover and and it looks pretty flat except for the castle up in the corner and of course the castle brings in new gameplay mechanics you know maybe there will be a game mode where you have to hold down the castle and then, you know, a giant team outside will try to storm in or things like that. Like, it'll be pretty cool. I'm super excited about this map. From what I've seen so far, there's a lot of diversity in the multiplayer maps, and that's definitely a good thing. So, uh, the next thing I want to show you guys are a few more screenshots. This time, they're from single player. And as you can see, they're pictures of the Odin satellite up in space. So, this is the thing that you shoot down those, like, Thor rod missiles that just rain down hell on the earth and destroy everything. This is that weapon that's up in space. And I don't know, I just, I, I thought they looked really good. They kind of show off how great this game is gonna look and, and then also it's just it's kind of cool to see I'm excited to do a little bit of space warfare and in Call of Duty Ghosts I've been looking forward to doing that for a long time in Call of Duty now and it seems like we're finally gonna be able to do that so uh, that sounds pretty cool now finally the last part of this video the last thing I want to let you guys know about is that they detailed the team leader digital content pack that comes with the season pass of Call of Duty Ghosts I know a lot of you guys might be interested in this you want to know about the season pass and things like that so I just want to lay it all out for you guys so they talked about this yesterday and the Prestige Edition unboxing, which if you haven't seen that, I'll annotate it on screen. Make sure you guys go check it out. But uh, in case you missed that, Basically, this team leader digital content pack comes with anybody who gets the season pass. You can buy the season pass on Xbox Live or PSN or, you know, whatever, or it comes for free in the hardened and prestige edition of Call of Duty Ghosts. And what you get with this pack is a weapon camo, a custom weapon reticle, a multiplayer character head, as you can see, which is, uh, you know, Simon Ghost Riley or whatever, the main character in Ghosts. And, and then you also get a player patch, a player card, and a player background, which are all kind of themed around Riley, the dog in the campaign. So, uh, yeah, that is everything you get in this Team Leader digital content pack. If you don't get this pack, you won't be able to get these things in-game, so they're going to be a little bit more unique and a little bit more exclusive. So, if you like anything on this screen, then you want to make sure you get the Season Pass, otherwise you won't be able to unlock it. So, uh, there you guys. That's all I've got for you all today. Hope you all enjoyed the video and let me know what you think about Stonehaven. Are you excited for the map? Are you not excited? Do you think kind of a, a more level map with a bunch of random covers is going to be fun to play on? Something different? You know, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think and check out one of the other two videos you haven't seen yet. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.